It is August 2023, and I'll tell you what, we finally cooled down a little bit. Yeah. Right? It was nice this morning. It was. So it's a little sweaty because we got a little bit of monsoon moisture in the air. We haven't really gotten any rain. So we got a little tiny bit of sprinkles this week. That was it. So nothing heavy, no, no measurable rain at all, but it did cool it down a bit. So mm -hmm. from 115, 120 down to about 100, 105. We'll take it, it's beautiful. Yeah. So you had some extra help this week. We had a new helper this week. Yes, I had Tyler come out and help me this week. Thank you, Tyler. Did the pigeon peas. Yeah, so the pigeon peas, we got those from a viewer of ours. We had several people suggest that. And I think it was Sarah that um, got those for us. Thank you for those. You actually gave us two different seeds, one that we're not gonna share yet. So we're gonna see how it does first, but <laughs> we're looking forward to the pigeon peas. Uh, so those hopefully can be a little bit of perennial for us if we can get them to survive the winter. And we will have some green peas and some hard peas which is basically beans that we love yep so you guys did that what else you guys do and we also cut down the sorghum over in the turkey pasture mm. so that was getting a little out of control so we chopped that down tyler had the trimmer and i got a weed eater i'll tell you what's cool about the sorghum is we have gotten at least three cuts on that sorghum right now yeah and we've still got the turkeys aren't even on there yet i know <laughs> so it's great to see those things doing really strong there's also a little bit of alfalfa in there that's growing mm -hmm. really well it's doing really good there's yep. a little bit of um the barley still in there too which just boggles my mind <laughs> that barley should not be surviving in the middle of our summer yeah we got a lot of things that are coming back to life we struggle a little bit through july with certain things and everything struggled this year we had record number of consecutive days above 110 degrees so a lot of really intense dry heat yeah um, we didn't lose anything but um, they struggled really starting to come back you can see the grapevines around us here are really really happy putting on a lot of new growth and we're seeing that everywhere the moringa more mm -hmm. importantly so it looks like the trimming of the moringa is definitely working a lot of new growth pushing out all over the place there nice so that was really cool to see
These are our Thanksgiving turkeys. We raise these every year for folks. These are broad-breasted white turkeys. They've done really, really well for us. We get these in in the middle of July, and here we are about the second week of August, and you can see these guys are doing really, really good. Already a nice large bird. They're feathering out really, really well. And we're gonna go ahead and get them moved outside, as you can see. Being just under three weeks old, these guys can handle about 85 or so degrees. We don't get colder than about 80 to 85 degrees, so we figured this is a good time to get them moved out. Plus, they were running out of space in the brooder. It was just jam-packed in there. They're putting a lot of manure down, and that's just not good for these birds. So we decided to go ahead and put them here with our new layers, surrounded by shade, so they'll get plenty of shade. We have them up on the wood chips, just in case we get any heavy monsoon rains. We wanna make sure these guys are not getting wet because they're not quite ready for that. But overall, they're a little nervous, sitting still. Eventually, they'll wander a little bit and have plenty of room in here for maybe a couple weeks, <laughs> and they'll need to find a new home. There you go, little one. Another long, short weekend with lots to do. One of the things about this time of year, we get through that really, really hot part of July and it was record heat like we were talking about before. You get some of this cooler weather and you really see things start to come back to life. We're here in the pasture and this thing was on life support here <laughs> just a week ago. It's greening up really well. We've got the alfalfa starting to flower. I see bugs everywhere. I mean, everywhere. butterflies or bees. Dragonflies, it's wonderful to see. We finished all of our wine for the season, right? Wrapped up with Cabernet, I think we posted that last week. We did the most amount of wine we've ever done. In one season. In one season. Yeah. It's gonna be done here by August. It's funny to see our wine closet. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I'd say we're closet wine drinkers, but we all know that's not the case. <laughs> it's not the case, no. Not at all. One of the things that we found with trying to change the way we're feeding our pigs this year is finding bulk feed here in town. We have some spent brewer's grain we've been using, which is doing really good with the pigs. We're gonna expand that into some of the other animals, but we've had to find a way to store it. The challenge with the tractor is it can't hold more than about seven or 800 pounds as far as its lifting capacity. And so we can't do the big super sacks, but we found barrel. Same place that we got the red pigs, so she's the breeder for that. She is the one who helps us with the brewer's grain. Also, the, those tops. Yeah, the right? yellow snap-on lids. Right, so we get those from Uline, and those are really good at keeping things out of the feed, giving it some airflow, so that's not an issue. And more importantly, they're half the price oh, yeah. of those closing top lids. And so with that, I think we have a bulk feed option, which is working out really well for the pigs. Yeah. And more importantly, it'll work really well for a lot of the other animals here on the farm and hopefully cut that feed bill, which can get pretty big. <laughs> So just want to thank you for joining us today. If you haven't done so already, subscribe to the channel. We cover a lot of things here on this newly established functioning farm and would love to see you on a regular basis. If you have any questions or comments, those go in the comment section down below. In our Amazon shop, I'll leave a link down in the description. That is a free painless way to help support the channel. If you start with the link down below, it doesn't matter what you buy, you help to support us here. So just want to thank you for joining us today and remind you if we can farm on the edge of nowhere. So can you. All right. Come on, baby doll. Yeah, you, I think you're actually sitting on ants. I think I have ants crawling like up my back. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's move. <laughs> I'm like, they're crawling all over me. So we're moved now, and um, hopefully ant-free zone. <laughs> <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> oh, one just flew out. <laughs> let's in. We have them up on the wood chop chops. 